Welcome everybody to another video on collecting world coins. Uh, so we are collecting world coins, not just, just for collecting, but also for investing purposes. Uh, these coins that I'm showing you are very popular and well collected by a lot of people worldwide. Uh, these coins should appreciate in value. Uh, they look very nice. They're very high quality, high grade coins. So these are the coins that you as a collector investor uh, should concentrate uh, your funds so it will continue to work for you. Uh, so what I try to do is basically collect the best uh, coins uh, for that particular date. And we have a few coins here uh, from Canada. Uh, these coins are very well collected, very low mintage, uh, very few in very high grade. And uh, these uh, coins are easily sellable uh, down the line when it's time for you to liquidate your collection. So when you do uh, sell these coins, you will not have problems with buyers hesitating to purchase the coin and they won't uh, discount it pretty much because some, some of these coins, they, can, they will pay you a premium uh, if they are nice, appealing, scarce to rare coins. Uh, so what we have here, I have five coins. I got a 1946 regular business strike in PCGS 62. I've got a 1937 Canadian dollar in matte specimen. I have a 1929 PCGS MS 63, 50 cent. I've got a 1955 $1, the Arn variety. And the last one is a scarcer or rare 1939 dollar in specimen 63 plus. And this is the mirror variety. Uh, so what we're going to do is talk about the first one. And this is the 1946. 1946, a very popular coin. Uh, has a very low mintage. Very difficult to find in high grade, uh, a 65 grade will run you probably around 5,000 on up. And as of yet, uh, I have not seen very many in 65 grade. Normally, if it's in 65 grade, they are badly toned and has no appeal and if I decide to purchase something that says Emma 65 with no appeal, basically it would be difficult for me to sell it. Okay, uh, lot, collectors like myself uh, like coins that we can see the design and it looks nice, very appealing, so they can put it in their collection. Yeah, like I said, if it's badly toned, unappealing even though it is graded MS 65 I would be hesitant to put money into it to me I would consider that pretty much dead money because when it's time for me to liquidate it would be very difficult so here we have a 1946 it's graded PCGS MS 62 it is conservatively conservatively graded uh, so in other words, it is undergraded in my opinion. Uh, fields are very nice with some contact on the right side. The face is also exceptionally nice without so many bag mark distractions. On the reverse is the canoe with, this is called the Voyager. And with the date 1946, and of course you got a Frontiersman 
or a hunter and an Indian scout. These are very popular coins. Uh, they started basically in 1935 and continued on till present in different variety of uh, metal. Basically, this is all 800 fine silver. And so as, you know, you get closer to present day, some will be copper nickel, unless they are commemorative. Then they'll be 925 fine. So this is 800 fine silver. This one's very nice. With minimum bag marks. Uh, the strike is very nice. The highest point of this canoe is in the center where you should be able to see the initial HB uh, for the designer's name. And of course, you will see the horizontal line going across the canoe. Normally, this is the, a weak strike in the majority of these coins, unless they are like specimens or proof strike. In this case, it would be fairly well defined. Very nice coin. Very low mintage, around forty or fifty thousand coins made. Uh, very heavily circulated. So, uh, in uncirculated, they're very well, very much in demand by collectors. So, like I said, this one here, when it's time to liquidate, you should have no problem liquidating it, and of course, getting back your investment plus more. Next one we have, this is a special coin. This is a 1939 Parliament. This is a specimen strike, which is basically what they consider a proof strike, uh, strictly for collectors. This is limited to sometimes 100 coins to 200 coins. Uh, these are highly polished planchet, highly polished die, and this one here is a cameo device with mirror fields. And so this is, there's only a very few of this these coins in these condition. Normally these specimens are impaired due to handling of the coin, improper handling, and sometimes they are you know, they're darkly toned. So getting one in this condition is very difficult. On the reverse, we have the Canadian Parliament. Very nice, and it is a mirror with cameo device. Like I said, this is, has a very small mintage. Even though the mintage could be a couple of hundred coins, very few survived in very nice condition as this one. Um, this particular coin runs about two or three thousand dollars in this particular grade and very difficult for a collector to obtain these coins since there's only a, a few number of these coins available for sale or to go on the market. Extremely rare coin. This is something that if you come across it, maybe you'll think about putting this in your collection. Very hard coin to find and a nice investment to your collection. Next one we have is a 1955 in NGC Proof Flag 65. This is the Arn Prior variety and basically what you're looking for is a very high grade coin like this proof like field very nice device it has the normal uh, shoulder burn from the dies but uh, aside from that no problems as far as appeal it's brilliant and on the reverse it's the voyager canoe and it says 1955 and the on prior basically 
or varieties indication of the number of water line in front of the canoe. Normally there's like one and a half water lines in front of the canoe that determines that it is a variety for that arm prior. Um, of these particular variety, uh, only 2,000 of these coins were created in uh, either on proof or business track. A very nice coin, something that you can easily liquidate down the future. A very nice variety. A lot of people collect these particular variety. Next we have a PCGS 1929 50 cent piece in MS63. Uh, this is of course kind of rotated in the case. Uh, so it's basically loose. So as you handle it around, it tends to rotate. You probably can rotate this thing back to its upright position, but takes a little bit of time. Uh, this one is a very popular coin in these early dates tend to be, most of them tend to be circulated and finding one in M63 or better definitely is a nice price coin to have. These coins ran from 1903 on up to 1936. Okay, and majority of these were small mintages and these dates were widely circulated and melted. So finding one in uncirculated is extremely rare. Coin is, this coin has nice full luster, sharp detail, no problems. Very light original toning, so it's not distracting. A lot of these coins you will see have dark toning, which is unappealing. And definitely I would avoid those coins unless they're, they're rare dates. Then you don't have pretty much a choice if you want a sample of one of those rare dates. This one here, normally it's valued between two to three thousand dollars, right? As it gets into the 65 grade, then we're talking about five to ten thousand dollars. Very nice coin. Nice luster, hardly any contact on the field. On the reverse, very nice, brilliant. Lots of maple leaf, you got the crown. It says 50 cent, 1929. So no distraction, full, full luster, brilliant. Very nice coin. It's something that you want to add as a collection uh, of series or just for a type coin. So this one here, heavily in demand in this condition. If it was circulated, I would avoid uh, buying one that is circulated since there is many available. Uh, so find yourself a nice MS60 or better, and that particular coin would be heavily in demand by collectors. A nice addition to your collection. Last we have is a 1937. Uh, it's graded. Um, PCGS Specimen 63. This one here is all original. Uh, this is in a green label, means that it was one of the earlier graded coins by PCGS. And normally with the green label, uh, the, the grading standards at that particular time were, were very conservative in grading. So normally they would definitely grade this 
one point under. So this coin here would probably, if resubmitted, could grade specimen 67, which is a, a definitely a, a one point higher, means a lot more of a premium for this particular coin. The only drawback about this coin is uh, this is dark toned. So very difficult to see the design unless you tilt the coin to get a better view, but it is a full luster. This is a specimen strike of which a couple thousand coins were minted. And these were minted in sets. And of course those sets were broken up. And when they were broken up, they were mishandled. And so a lot of these coins are impaired with hairlines and contact marks and things like that. So getting one in this particular grade is difficult, even though it is toned. The toning is still not too bad. It's a nice even toning throughout, and it's not so, so dark. So this one here is in the price range of around $3,000 in this particular condition, plus also, normally the rims were broadly struck, and so you don't see the high rims and the denticles on the edges. It would be definitely flat, but this one is a pretty nice one. On the reverse is the Voyager Canoe, 1937. Very nice. Like I said, it's all original toning. Very nicely sharply struck throughout this is a specimen strike so they did strike this very very well compared to a business strike so you should see the initial hb plus all the horizontal lines uh, going across the canoe is sharply defined so this particular coin you know if this was fully brilliant the demand would be greater by collectors but since this is toned you have to wait for the right collector for this particular coin so like i said appeal is very important when you buy coins unless they're extremely rare so this one here sometimes will probably will take a little bit of time to liquidate when it's time to sell your coin and sometimes may end up being discounted which you really don't like okay but if you're able to get it at a reasonable price it should appreciate in value so these are all wonderful coins these coins here maybe you want to consider in locating and purchasing uh, you will not go wrong in finding nice coins from canada and they are widely collected, especially the dollar series. Uh, people can collect from 1936 till 1967, uh, which are full 800 fine silver dollars. And uh, collecting a complete set could could run you probably twenty five to thirty thousand dollars, but. If you pick them one at a time, good quality, you should have a reasonable collection for your portfolio. Uh, hopefully this information would be a, of some value to you. And collecting wisely is very important. Collecting coins that has appeal definitely is a primary consideration uh, when you buy coins. So the appeal is very important because when it's time to sell, you need to be able to sell it, okay? If you can't sell it, you're gonna end up discounting and losing money. So uh, be sure when you're hunting for coins, first consideration is appeal, unless they're extremely, extremely rare. Um, hopefully you like the information I provided for you. Uh, if you like what you hear and you like what you see, I have more videos coming up on coins from all over the world uh, if you have any comments uh, please send me some comments or if you want to see a particular country uh, maybe I have a few coins from that particular country so uh, if you like what uh, 
what I'm doing here, uh, please subscribe. And uh, hopefully you'll look forward to my next video. Thank you very much.